Hey guys, it's Miss Turner, and in this video, I'm going to show you the student side of Kid Blog. But actually, I have a special guest with me. This is Michaela Burnett. Hi guys. And she is a student that is actually using Kid Blogs in her class right now. And so she is going to help me teach the students how to navigate the student side of Kid Blogs. All right, you want to go ahead and start on with what's first? So first you go and go to your teacher's um, website. Website. And then you're going to, it's going to drop down and you're going to click on your name. Click login. You're going to click login. You do it. Okay, now go ahead. Then you're going to select your name. Down here. So, yeah, burn it. Then you're going to click login with Google. Okay, and she's already logged into this computer, so it has her name pop up right here. Um, but if you haven't logged in, then you would type in your school Gmail account and password. Okay, so now what? So, if your teacher has left a left a like little clip of what you're going to talk about, then you're going to click on it and read about it. And you're going to read what it says. Let's see if we can find one. There's one that she did. So this is her teacher, Linda Wood, and so she's going to click on this. And this was from the other day. So then you're going to read it. And then what? And then you're going to, it says leave a comment. And it, you're going to... Click on that, and you're going to, like, type in, you're going to comment right there. Then whenever you get done, you're going to click comment. It's going to publish. Okay, and what about if the teacher hasn't left a um, post for you to comment to? She just says you need to go and blog about Chapter 3. You're going to go, and you're going to click on, oh. Oh, there you go. You're going to click on new post. And you're going to post title. So it would be chapter 3. Okay. Then you go down and you're going to click that and you're going to type in what you think about it. Okay, and then after you're done typing your post, oh, we need to tell them what happens if um, they are trying to spell a word like, so what's the book you're reading? Story Thieves. So what if we spell it, and it underlines it in red? You're going to click on the word, thieves. Do we, how do we click on it? You're going to double tap. So use two fingers. And tap. If you're on a trackpad, it's a right click on another, on just another computer. And if you're trying to spell thieves, you're going to click on the one that says thieves. There you go, and it changes it for you. Changes. Okay, um, you can also make words bold, ah, underline them, you can make the size bigger, you can change your color, <laughs> but yeah, you can do a bunch of different things. Okay, so anyways, after we top our post there, then what? You're going to click publish. And then what does this mean? You, if your teacher, if you just want your teacher to see it, you're going to click on teacher. But if you want all your classes to see it, you click on classmates. But if your teacher tells you to do classmates, then that's what you're going to click on. Okay, so can anybody see this or just like the people in your class? Just the people in your class. Okay, so let's just do this one to the teacher since it was just like our little practice post. Okay. We're going to click okay. publish. And it's published. Um, if you, let's see, let's go back to our home page. Um, let's say that Michaela says, oh, oops, I messed up. I need to go fix something. Okay, so she can go back to her post. And then up here in the top right, she can click edit. And then change some things or add things to it. So once you click publish, you're not just stuck with it. You can actually edit it and make changes. 
Okay, mm -hmm. is there anything else? You can comment on other people's, right? Mm -hmm. So let's see, let's go to Kate's. So you're going to click on that, and whatever my teacher says, she says no being mean, so you can you can just be nice on this, and you can comment about it. But you are allowed to disagree, right? Yes. So, like, let's pretend that we disagree with Kate. So it says, I think that Bethany um, has changed a lot because she's being a mean person, and she needs to change to be a nice girl. So... If Michaela disagreed, she could say, Well, I think that Bethany is really nice and Owen's mean. Okay, so she could say, I disagree. I think Bethany is nice and Owen is mean. Oh, I didn't catch that. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so she could comment, and this is, she's not, you know, saying, oh, that's dumb, that doesn't make sense, that's terrible. She's just saying, I disagree, um, and then she's explaining why she disagrees. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's how we comment on someone else's if we disagree with what they're saying. Um, but she could also agree with Kate, so she could say, I agree, I hope that um, Bethany does change into a nice girl. Okay, so let's comment. Okay, so that is pretty much the rundown of Kid Blog on the student side. Um, and how often do you post on this? We do it every day. And do you have to be in class to do it? Mm -mm. You can do it on your parent's phone, on an iPad, or on your iPod. So it works just the same. You just go to the website that your teacher gives you and log in. Log in with your Google email account and all of the things are still the same. The new posts, the comments, it look, does it look exactly the same mm -hmm. as it does here? Um, but it's very easy to use and y'all liked it so far, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, that's all we have for you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below and thanks for watching.